is Miriam with X the Models. I am here with Tendi Way here at Scope Art Show, where she is presenting some of her work. Uh, we wanted to kind of start the conversation to kind of go into more into depth, but behind the scenes of how this all came about for you. So this series is inspired by what beauty looks like where I come from, which is Nairobi, Kenya. And I primarily work with a cloth called Ankara or Vitenge, which is just a cotton cloth that's worn across the continent. Where it, the, it, how you can tell the difference between where it comes from is the print and the pattern on it. So what is unique about my work is I tend to work with very geometric prints, which is almost a fusion of the modern world that I live in and the fact that I come from Kenya. So it's a fusion of the modern with the traditional on this one cloth. We don't tend to wear the same prints that our mothers or grandmothers would wear. And this is very representative of what I would wear by myself. Um, but there are some more traditional kind of prints. So this leans more traditional. So the florals, I guess what you're saying is the florals, the warmer colors, the browns, the reds, the green more towards the traditional. And maybe not as vibrant. So these okay. are really strong colors. So maybe you would wear more of a muted blue, a deeper red, rather than like a screaming red if yeah. it was the more traditional colors. So how did you get started? Tell us about <laughs> how this kind of happened because really, I remember seeing your work last year. We, we just talked about this. And that section behind, now you're right here in front. Right when you walk into Scope, you see your work. It's amazing and well-deserved, really. Um, tell us a little bit about how you started, how you got started, and um, how you got uh, here. <laughs> well, there's two stories to that. So how I got started into photography was my dad introduced me when I was 14 years old. Yeah. Um, and in Kenya, there's no photography schools. And so I read every magazine and book I could get my hands on. And then when we got the internet connection at home, I went online and learned on YouTube. Wow. Um, before I did art, I spent my career as a commercial photographer. Oh. And what is unique about my story is I was the only woman in the country in that field. Everybody else is men. <laughs> um, but then I transitioned into doing fine art photography when I realized I wasn't feeling fully fulfilled as an artist yeah. in commercial photography. Your creativity. Because I was always shooting somebody else's vision. And, yeah. I, and this is my vision well, for my head when I want, how I want. Yeah. And so this filled a creative gap that I felt during my previous career. And when and when did you think to layer different patterns behind, I guess you would say there's a frontal pattern and a pattern that's behind that kind of does some kind of trickery with the mind. I'm not sure how you would describe that. Um, the camouflage effect, I guess. That was when I began the series. I, I think I'm a little obsessed with print and pattern and seeing how much I could make the subject disappear. But it's also representative of the reality of Kenyan culture, which is it's a patriarchal society. Yeah. And so I feel like sometimes culture tells you what you should be yeah. and you can recede into the backdrop of what it's dictating for you. And yet as individuals, we can be so gifted and talented in unconventional ways, yeah. which is why the models stand out as well. They know who they are. They're confident. They're not apologizing for maybe being a little unconventional, even as culture tells them what they should be. I love that. And that's something that we really stand by with EXO, with our models that we work with, is be yourself, be beautiful, be bold. Um, and it's so great to have this conversation with you because you're right in line with that to begin with. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I'm very happy for your success. Super. That's it.